Hi everyone, this is Dikshit. Welcome to my channel. In this particular video, I'll be telling you uh, like how to configure a private registry in Docker. Okay, so for this, I'll be using Nexus and also I'll be using one more host wherein I'll create a Docker image and I'll push that image to this Nexus repository. Okay, so I have a document uh, which is there in GitHub. So this uh, helps you to install a Nexus on top of Ubuntu mission. So these are all very simple steps like uh, you need to install duplicate and you need to make sure uh, the two prerequisite to uh, install Nexus is you need to have a Java version which is more than eight or you can I have higher versions and also you need to make sure whichever uh, the machine that on that you're installing this Nexus, right? You need to make sure it has four GB RAM minimum. If, if you have more then it's fine. If it is less than four GB, so then it, you might not be able to start your uh, nexus properly okay and then uh, so you need to un uh, untar it and then you need to run a nexus start you need to go to that particular folder and you need to do a nexus start and to access that one so http ip address and 8080 by default a nexus will be uh, hosting on 8080 so that's the reason uh, like we should use 8080 port okay so which is already set up in my case so so I with the IP address uh, colon 8081. So I'll be able to see this particular screen. And for you, when you log in for the first time, so it'll show up one uh, prompt uh, saying like your password will be there in a particular place. So the password will be there in initial password. As you uh, run Jenkins, right? For the first time, you need to give initial password, right? Like that only. The initial password will be there here. So you, if you paste that, it will prompt you to change your password, and you can change, and you can go ahead and you can uh, see your uh, this particular screen okay so as i have already did all those configurations so i'll just click on sign in and by default uh, so the username is admin and the password i've already set admin123 so as you can see now i have logged in as an admin so now the the next thing is we need to host a repository in this particular nexus to store our images right so for that what you need to do is click on settings and uh, click on repositories and then when you click on repositories so there will be something called as create repository just click on create repository and search for docker hosted okay so click on docker hosted and then give a, a meaningful name so i will be just giving docker private and registry okay so this is the name i'll give and as this is a demo i'll just take http and so you need to give a particular port here so let me give it as 8083 so any random port so i'm just using 8083 and i'll leave other things uh, as default like that itself like depending on your requirement you can enable these things allow anonymous docker pool all these things like if any um apis has been developed and uh, they're accessing from apis then you need to enable these things but i i'll leave like that itself and just click on create okay now uh, go back to repositories so now you will be able to see docker private registry okay now uh, our uh, nexus uh, i mean uh, in the nexus whatever we want to do we have done with uh, that uh, like we have created a repository in uh, nexus and then uh, we have given a particular port 8083 okay so now the next thing is you need to configure docker for that okay the first what you need to do is there is some file which is basically a daemon or dot json so you need to create a file which is basically under uh, root etc and then you need to search for docker folder in that and then you need to create a file name called as daemon dot json okay if it is not there you need to create this one okay so in this I guess you're able to see this particular uh, one liner, so which is basically insecure registries. This is configuring insecure registries. Okay, so you need to give like this insecure registries, and then the IP address of your Nexus and the port. We have, if you remember, we have configured to 8083, right, for our registry. So you need to give in this manner. So I guess like if I highlight it, so you'll be able to see properly. So it is in a JSON format insecure registries and the colon and you need to give the ip address again the port okay so if this file is not there you need to create it and you need to paste this particular uh json uh, value in this particular file 
okay so let's save it so once you do this one so you need to restart your docker so basically system system ctl uh, restart docker okay when you do this so whatever the configuration changes that you did so it will be loaded onto your docker so now we configured that uh, insecure registries right so we need to confirm so for that when you do docker info so you'll be able to see uh, insecure registries has been configured or not yes under insecure registries you can see our uh, i mean a private registry has been registered okay so now what we will do is uh, so the next thing what we will do so let me create some folder uh, mkdir and i'll just create it as busy box okay so let me go into that so let me create a simple docker file okay so let me take it as uh, from from a busy box on top of this i'll be just running few commands that's all right run or uh, touch a b and c so i'm just taking a busy box as a, a base image on top of that i'm just creating three files that's all okay this is very simple docker file so let me save this particular uh, file okay already it's done so let me verify the content again yeah so now it's done so now let me build this particular image uh, so docker build dot let me tag it as uh, busy box point so when i do this so it will create my image when i do a docker image ls this image will be listed there as you can see now busy box is uh, uh, listed now so when you want to uh, push it to a private registry so before uh, any image name so your uh, host name should be there okay so i mean the repository name so when i push to uh, hub.docker let's say when i push to uh, images to hub.docker.com let me open that. When I push images to hub.docker.com, so always your image uh, should be suffixed with your, your username, right? Like that only when you are pushing it to your private registry. So always it should be suffixed with uh, your particular registry name. See all the images suffixed with my username when I push to hub.docker.com. In private registry also, when I push it, so it is it should be suffixed with my uh, repository name okay so that we will do so we can do it there only when you do docker build dot so iphone t you can give uh, uh, the name of uh, our private registry there itself but uh, so I, i'll just show i mean if you have already images how you can change the how we can rename image okay so basically docker tag and then what you can do is uh, we we need to uh, tag this particular image right busy box and you need to give the tag if it is latest you don't need to give anything as it is tagged so you need to give this one and our missions ip is this one let me take it from here 104 and 98 and so before this now so what you need to do is like so let me tag first and then 109 and then uh, what you need to do is you need to give 8083 okay so this is how you will tag it so 8083 and then you need to give the image name let me give it as busy box and 1.0 okay so now when you do docker images so you'll be able to see that particular image see you can see uh, ip address 83 and the busy box and the tag is 1.0 okay so then now we need to do a docker login so how we will do is docker login and we need to pass the username the username is admin and the password is i have configured as admin123 and then uh, i need to give the registry link right so it is basically this one 
So when I do this one, as you can see, so it says like login succeeded. So actually, I mean, uh, don't worry about this warning. These are just warnings. The login succeeded. And then after this, like you will be able to push your images. Docker, the command to push is Docker. Push. And then you need to give, oh, I guess, this one and the particular tag 1.0. Okay, when you give this one, so as you can see, it has been pushed. So let's go to our uh, this one and we'll just verify it. Now it's there. So let me refresh it and click on a browse. So when you click on your registry, so you'll be able to see busy box and the tax is 1.0. Okay, so now what we will do is like uh, so a uh, push is done. So we will also verify pull whether we are able to pull the images from this private registry or not. So what I'll do, I'll delete the images. So which is already built and there in my uh, this one. So what I'll do, I'll just do a Docker RMI. So I'll just forcefully delete it. Okay, and also I'll delete. Uh, another image also which is uh, the latest right so now if you see docker images so i don't have any images from that particular private registry so now what i'll do docker pull and let me give the image name so now i don't have any in my local so i am pushing it i'm sorry i'm pulling it from that private registry right so let me give this tag so now when i do docker images so so you can see now this particular image is there with us. This is how you will configure your private registry and this is how you can push and pull from the private registry. So if you have liked the video, please share and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.